My fennel and pancetta are cooling. They roasted for 20 minutes and they get nice and crusty. In fact, you can see that they caramelized. So while those continue to cool, I'm gonna put together my salad. So I've just got a bag of salad greens and I just do mixed greens. Just because it's very colorful, it just looks really pretty. So we just leave that and then take the dressing, the red wine vinaigrette, a little honey in it, lemon juice, red wine vinegar, olive oil. Very simple, but very yummy. And I don't want to add too much dressing to my greens because otherwise it weighs it down and the acidity tends to make the leaves limp. Now, I'm gonna take the panchit and the fennel that's cooled and I just wanna top the salad with it. It is so yummy. Just grab all of that and just add that right on top. And you wanna take a little bit of greens and a little more panchita. And in every bite, I try and get the fennel, the greens, and of course, the panchita. Nice and crispy. Mm. Mm. The panchita, it has kind of like a, a sweet crust on top and it's nice and crunchy. And then the greens just make it healthy and yummy. Making a good impression on a dinner date means serving her something unique. But keep it simple and worry-free. Like my ravioli with balsamic brown butter. Start with store-bought ravioli. For the sauce, just brown butter in a pan and add a splash of sweet and tangy balsamic vinegar. Top with walnuts and fresh Parmesan cheese, and that's it. Get ready for the compliments. This dish is super easy and super quick, but it's exotic enough that it'll still wow your dates or your friends. And I'm just gonna start by toasting some chopped walnuts. I'm gonna get them into the oven at 375 degrees for about five to seven minutes if they're chopped and 10 minutes if they're whole. And you know they're ready because you can smell them. So while those toast, I'm gonna get started on the sauce. We're gonna use six tablespoons of unsalted butter. So now I want to season the water. A nice handful of salt. So I've got about 20 ounces of frozen ravioli. This time I've got mushroom and spinach. And we're going to toss them right into the boiling water. So now let's make sure that my butter is melting. There it is. We're going to add a little bit of salt to really flavor the sweet butter. And a little bit of pepper. It smells so good. Now, to make this extra, extra special, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. It's super rich, thick, it gives it a beautiful color and a little bit of sweetness to the butter. And again, just give it a quick little stir. I'm very excited. All right, let's check on the ravioli. Now they float it to the top, so you know they're ready. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take them out and toss it right in with the brown butter sauce. And just like regular pasta, it's always better to toss the pasta in the saucepan. That way it finishes cooking in the sauce and absorbs everything. So good. So I take the serving dish and just slide them right in there. Now, I just want to check on my nuts. They should be ready because I can smell them. I'm just gonna set them down for a minute. I've gotta to top my ravioli with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. You gotta add Parmesan cheese. and It'll melt right on top of them. Create a nice salty crust. And we need to add the walnuts, just like that. Okay, so now I get to serve myself a couple. Grab a couple of ravioli. Some nuts, some cheese. And you want to cut.
cut right in half. Oh my gosh, it's so divine. It's that kick and sweetness from the balsamic vinegar and the tender ravioli. Mm. And you know what, up next, my favorite bachelor is gonna come join me and cook with me in the kitchen.